What's going on guys? Grayson from our full-time adventure. Welcome back to another video. Ashley's behind the camera and today we are in Las Cruces, New Mexico. We're at a spot we've stayed at before in front of the Oregon mountain but this video is going to be about something that's always asked about, always wondered about. What does it look like to clean an RV, to maintain your RV or truck? So we're going to do some of that stuff today. We're going to clean, we're going to get our tires rotated and things like that. So you're going to ask, how do we do it on the road? We're going to show you. in here at Discount Tire in, in Las Cruces. And every time we come here, it's about what? An hour and a half, two hour wait, almost every time. Almost every time. So they claim they're gonna be able to fit us in the bay and we're gonna find out. It's funny when I call them like, hey, how tall is your bay? I'm like, that's kind of funny. Yeah, we haven't got our tires rotated since getting a truck camper. So it's gonna be interesting. Usually we had our fifth wheel and we disconnect and it'd just be the truck. So will we, we fit? Got, I don't know. We got rotated actually in Nashville after a whole accident, but it was without a truck camper. So, we have gotten rotated, but just like she said, without a truck camper. So, it's gonna be an interesting one. We've seen a pop-up go and fit in there, but we're not sure about our rig. It's just a little shorter than we are. <laughs> just a smidge. So we'll show you guys what that looks like, but for now, we kind of just sit here and charge with the solar. Come left a little bit. So here's what we're dealing with. Our kayak is touching, but we actually fit. The reasons we like coming to Discount Tire for a tire rotation, we don't buy our tires here, but they do free rotations whether or not you buy your tires here. So we come here every six to 7,000 miles on the dot. We're a little bit over on this one because we were down in Big Bend and there were no places to get the tires rotated. Long story short is they do it for free. So just a little tip. So while they change the tires, I like to come check the brakes. I don't know why there's so much brake dust in this one. It looks ugly. But I check all of my brakes. <laughs> Alright, so yesterday we got our tires rotated and today we have some more chores and stuff that we have to do. So we are the laundromat right now. We're gonna do some laundry and while the laundry is being done, we're gonna start cleaning the inside of the RV. We try to clean like every day and vacuum and stuff, but it doesn't always happen. So right now it's a little eh, but we'll show you because we try to be honest with you and show you what stuff actually looks like and not, you know, try to act like it's something that it's not. So we're just gonna show you what else we end up doing today. Um, we also have to fill and dump, so we'll just take you along and show you all the different chores and maintenance and all the kind of stuff we have to do in order to live this lifestyle. We've got all of our laundry, Oreo's Don't sitting worry. on it. <laughs> sure, Oreo, we'll put you in the washing machine too. Yeah, you could probably use it, buddy. Yeah, he definitely does actually need a bath. <laughs> detergent so we're gonna have to get some which we try to use all natural stuff so eh, but it is what it is usually we have our own but we don't have it right now We're headed back to the car, or the house, or both. And Ashley's gonna show you something that's even cooler this about that. This is the that. best part about it. Collapsible. All right, so this is what we're working with right now. <laughs> it's not too, too bad, but as you can tell, it's a little icky and it just needs to be cleaned up in here. So that's what we're gonna do next. Also, we ran out of water yesterday, so I don't know if we'll have enough to do the dishes. I'm gonna say probably not, but we'll see. Before we start cleaning, we have to have our snacks. So these are our favorite Wasa 
Wasa crackers. They're really healthy and yummy. Carrot. Carrots. Hummus and some lunch meat. So we're gonna have a snack and then we're gonna get to cleaning up. Ten percent. Yesterday it said zero, but I think when you're at a slant sometimes it makes a difference. So we should have enough to do the dishes. So first things first, we always grab a trash bag because even if we don't already have trash out like we do right now, from using wipes and stuff, there's gonna be trash. And then rule of thumb is always start with the dishes first and then work on like the counter and the table and then do the floor because like the crumbs and stuff, I would just like push onto the floor and then vacuum them up. That's how I do it at least. Do we barely have any water. Yeah, we barely have any water. We also clean the walls a lot because just with it being such a small space, it's so easy to bump into stuff and get it dirty. And now we're here at the vacuum. Now that everything's been wiped down, we've got some comments about this on Instagram. This is an ion vac. People love it. Ashley's always responding. It's from Walmart, right? Right, I, I think. think it, how much do you think it was? I think it was like 25 bucks. Maybe. Yeah, it was not a lot. This is the best investment ever. It's a, where's the charger hole? USB-C, I'm pretty sure, which is kind of like everything now. You can charge it on 12 volt, which is great for us, but obviously our solar can run our outlets, so we could have, if we had a normal vacuum, it'd be fine. But, but there's no point having amazing. a little vac a vacuum in this yeah, size. There's no point of having a full-size vacuum in this size camper. I think in any size camper, it's because this is awesome. Even when we had a fifth wheel, we had a huge vacuum, and it was always in the way. So. We never really used it. We yeah. used it smaller. So, Obviously, we have a cat, Kitty. It's her little her litter box is under here, so her litter gets on the chair right here. So, and this is not actually where the litter box is staying either. We're gonna be making a spot for that. A spot for it. So I just put everything in the dryer as Ashley was vacuuming, and we've come to notice when we walk in here with no shoes on. The whole point of having this rug was to have a nice place to walk out of the shower onto and to have a nice place to not wear shoes on which we don't we really take them off like right here but the dogs have been bringing these stickers First. so i'm gonna pick all these out of here or and ashley's gonna pick out the ones close to her and we're gonna throw them out because now we walk in here with no shoes on. on we walk in here with socks only and it gets all over you so we're gonna do that and then we'll vacuum the rug we actually meant to put it in the washer but we didn't so this is our first laundry run with a rug so we kind of forgot. We it kind of forgot. Here. Yeah, it even existed. Another thing I like to do when we do laundry is go to the stores nearby. So that's what I did. I went to Trek to see if they have a swinging bike rack for our bikes, and they don't. So we're going back in to collect this dry laundry slash fold it off. So. We're big on cleaning stuff, so Ashley went out to the car to grab wipes so she can wipe the counter down. So we can fold our laundry on it. So yeah, they probably do clean these things every night and every morning, but not between, yeah, not between people either though. So sorry. I don't really care if they have clean laundry or not. Who knows if they use enough detergent or anything, so we just clean it. So we're gonna put all this folded slash rolled stuff away, aka clothes. It's crazy because we were in there and I actually saw some stuff I needed to throw away. It had stains or got a stain or was missing something. It was so hard to do. All right, Pete, this close. All right, Pete, the like couple of shirts. So we're gonna put this stuff away. Then what? Then what? And then I think we're gonna go dump and fill. And if there's anything else chore wise that we need to do, we'll show it in the video. If not, we'll dump and fill and be done for the day. I think. Yeah, it's a good day of chores. Good. Dump and fill. They're actually
essentially is an RV that is already dumping and filling. So as soon as they are done, we're gonna take their spot, dump and fill. And a lot of people ask us how we end up finding places to dump and fill, places to camp, all that kind of for stuff. Free. For free. And what we do is we use iOverlander and we use Campendium. They're both great apps for really anyone who travels um, in any kind of RV. Um, so yeah, we're gonna wait for him and then we're gonna dump and fill. So what I like a lot about this Cirrus, a lot of RVs have this, our other truck camper had it, is that the hose is actually inside the bumper. Check that out. Yep. It's probably very far in there. Yeah. yeah. Ew. So I have to, <laughs> this hose is actually tiny. This is what came with our RV. So I have to actually hold it in the hole Gross. while it dumps. And this is why this is Grayson's job and I, not me. <laughs> so yeah, this is going to be fun. And I'm hoping we reach. Tiny little hose. And then we need to get a new one, clearly. You literally, for us, hold it right there. Hold the black. Yum. The black goes down, then we pull the gray, which is You push like, the black back in first, then you pull the gray. Which is like sink water, shower water. So we actually have dumped and filled up at the Speedway before, but now they don't have like a potable water, which means like water that you can drink and put in your tanks. They only have like one to rinse out your tanks after, or your hose or whatever after dumping. So not interested in filling up with that. So we're gonna try to find somewhere else to fill up water. Like I said, usually we try to find somewhere you can dump and fill at the same time just because it's more convenient. And I guess you can't do that here anymore. All right guys, so I had a weird feeling when we pulled up to the other speedway that it wasn't the right one. And we actually found the right one. So this has a dump and a fill. This is where we need to be. Potable water. This is the, this is the speedway I remember, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna fill up our water. And it's a pretty quick process. I'll show you guys how that works. We're using a water filter. We have our hose. This is where the fresh water goes in. That's it. If you made it this far, just make sure you put a thumbs up on this video. It really helps us out, gives us motivation to continue making videos. Make sure you're subscribed, obviously. Duh. <laughs> just kidding, guys. If you haven't found out already, I'm a very sarcastic person, so it's just a joke. And the third thing you need to do is turn on the bell because we want you to be notified when we post. We try to post twice a week. If there's certain videos you want to see that we haven't made yet, Make sure you comment that down below or even DM us on Instagram at Our Full Time Adventure. But thank you guys again for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out and stay tuned. Like a light.